Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve behind the camera. This is the Heads Up Show. Thank you so much for joining. Today we have a customer build. Steve, we love these when they come in. And this is from Mark in Wisconsin. Left a note saying, I want to get all this stuff, put it together. I got to get a couple of decals in there. Just put them on wherever you want. It's a lot of white and red. I like Mark's style. Yeah, so what we have here is a University of Wisconsin helmet. They wear a special color for them only. I don't know any other team that wears this color. If you know another team that wears this color, we call it Wisconsin Red on our website. Let us know what the team is, I'm curious. Um, so the helmet came with an S2BD SWSP. Mark wants an S2EG2 SP. So that's what's going on here. We're gonna be upgrading the chin strap from a soft cup to a hard cup. So we got that going on here. Check this out, Steve. Mark's yes. lucky because we have these. These are Under Armour custom branded clips. Upgraded the uh, snap or the buckles on the chin strap to the Douglas Easy Pros. <laughs> Jay, you love those. You know, shout out to you, Mark, because you know what you're doing. And then we're gonna have a red Under Armour visor on here. It is gonna look sick. So, um, you wanna get into it? Let's do it, man. What are you gonna start with? First, let's take the mask off. All right. And this is, we kind of prepped a couple of these things. Um, we do need to put the uh, new snap post. So these Easy Pro snaps, they have a snap post that is required. They do not work with the snap posts that come with the helmets. Um, but what's, what's nice, when you buy the clips, they come with the snap post. So you're not getting, you're not buying just the buckle. I'm sorry, when you buy the buckles, they come with the snap post. And I gotta say, Steve, the, the price is a little bit, it's a little bit high for something like that. Would you agree? I mean, it's high for a small item, but I don't think it's high for what you're getting. Does that make sense? These came out last year. They were my 2019 product of the year. And I gotta tell you, I can't imagine anybody buying these things and then regretting their purchase. I can say I've never seen one get returned. And we love things like that. <laughs> it's true. Douglas makes a great product. And they're good people too, Steve. That helps. <laughs> it really helps. So let's get these guys on here. A lot of times we'll prep a lot of this stuff in advance, but we asked a question, I don't know, a couple of months ago saying, hey, do you want to do you like it when we prep it? Or do you, like, do you want to see it? It's like 90% of people want to, to, want to see me swapping out clips and stuff. Dude, every, every time I think I should speed it up and move it along, people are like, oh, I miss when you guys move it slower. So, Jay, you're the Bob Ross yeah, of helmets, apparently. I guess so. I need, a, I, need a, this. I need a pro. If I knew some of the quotes that he had, maybe I'd throw them out there. Well, when he cleans his brush, he laughs every time and says he just beats the devil out of it. So well, I got nothing to beat the devil out of. <laughs> if I did, believe me, I would. Happy little clips. Come on, man. You can, you can get sure. creative. Happy little clips. Yeah. Uh, I lost my train of thought, Steve. What was I going to say? <laughs> uh, you got me, man. If we go too slow and you want us to go faster, leave a comment below. If we go too fast, you want us to go slower, leave a comment below. You guys can duke it out online, I guess, right? You drive me crazy. Uh, this guy, Steve, what do we do with this guy? Yeah, I say toss it. All right, go. so let's take these off here. And when you're doing that, make sure that you hold from the back, otherwise you will lose your nuts. Yeah, you gotta hold these nuts. They're not, these ones are not taped in out of the box. They do supply new T-nuts, which is mighty generous of them. Oh, well, do they? Do they, they come with T-nuts? They actually do, yeah. There you go, nice. Spot on. Are you ready? <laughs> Doesn't get any easier than it's that. so easy. Anybody who puts chin straps on their helmet when they're on the field, it's cold. It, they can be a real pain. It's true. These are so nice, especially if you're in the northern climate where it can, it's harder to use your hands once things start getting cold. But man, they just go on and off so easy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It, product has never gotten old. I love it. Doesn't doesn't get old. Get these screws started here, and then we're going to position the face mask so it's everything is centered. 
Nice thing about the Rodell helmets is, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but we've got a line that goes right up the center. So, and then, so we just center this kind of right there. And we'll put the sign guys on here. Now, see, you've got this bar in here, right? <laughs> this bar, warning. Helmet shell and all attachments are strictly for ornamental use. Do not use these parts for play in any sports activity. Well, so most people who are buying these helmets, like I, I think all people who are buying these helmets, have no intent of wearing this on the field and banging into things, I hope. We had a guy come in, had his helmet and said, hey, I'm trying to get that bar out. I bought a helmet, didn't buy it from us. I gotta get the bar, this bar out. And we're like, uh, he didn't have the right tool. So we're like, Come on by, let's we'll use our tool. <laughs> and man, Steve, it looked like a dog had started chewing on yeah. all of this stuff. I felt so bad because it was a nice helmet, but was, I guess is the right word for it. I'll say this much. If it was my helmet, I certainly would be taking the bar off so I can put it on my head, walk around the house, take pictures with it. We use, or I use, if we ever wanted to take these out, I've got a kit uh, that I used to break open all my computers. I want to upgrade a hard drive or a, some memory, whatever it is. And I'll show you that right here. So that's this guy right here. You see that? No. Yeah. So it's not just helmets oh, Jay plays with. Wow, man, that is looking Fancy. Right, yeah, so this guy looks good. Obviously not gonna put this one on my head. We got two more little decals to put on the back here and then I'll kind of give you the, the rundown. This, Steve, is one of our flat chrome US flags. They're kind of our current favorite, I guess. Yeah, we're all about these. We're gonna go right here. It actually matches. It's the same finish of that round green gridiron decal. It's still chrome, but it has this nice matte finish to it. Let me give it a little built by green ground. We're going to go right here. All we, centered. we get these made at Healy Awards. Mm -hmm. They do a good job. Dude, that looks awesome. So good, man. I love that we can do this for people. These white and red clips, they're super unique. You may not think that they're super unique, but I'm telling you right now, we only have I don't know, maybe a dozen or so pairs of these left. When they are gone, we cannot get any more. So if you want white clips with red Under Armour logos on it to match your helmet, get them now. We have a bunch of other color combinations. So let's go over all the pieces on this helmet one more time. There How's you that go. Sound, Steve? That's a great idea. So we've got a Riddell authentic collectible helmet here, University of Wisconsin. On the back, we've added a uh, matte or a flat chrome US flag. We've got our built by Green Gridiron decal on the back. We've upgraded the chin strap from a soft cup to a large hard cup from Riddell. We've got Douglas Easy Pro Snaps. Those come in white and black. We've got branded Under Armour custom visor clips. We have a red Under Armour visor, which looks, I gotta say, Steve, fantastic in this helmet and all of that with an upgraded S2EG2 SP face mask. Good job, man. Looks awesome. Thank Good. you, Mark, for your purchase. Did I, I think you got it. Yeah. So listen, Mark, thank you very much for your purchase. This one's gonna be going out to you. Please, please take a picture, put it up on your Instagram or your TikTok or whatever you do, tag us in the picture, share it with your world. Uh, we would really appreciate that. If you like this helmet, leave your comments below. If you wanna see your favorite team, leave your comments below, let us know who. Like, subscribe, until next time, cheers. Cheers.